we'll, we'll showcase that some of these subtopics. So given what kind of content you guys are creating um, outside of malware, most of these topics you guys are touching on your content, right? From a high level topic perspective yep. currently. Yeah, we have stuff um, not really around test management. I mean, we have some documentation uh, uh, around what we do there, but everything around like software testing, test automation, Selenium, a couple articles on, on DevOps. Cool. Okay. So the next piece that we did was we looked at the content that you are creating content on um, currently and then compared that with your competitors. So to the left-hand side of the screen, um, Francis, are the, the blue ones are the ones that you are currently creating content on. Um, so test automation strategy and design, code versus codeless software testing, those are things that you guys are creating quite a bit of content on. Your competitors, interestingly enough, were specifically talking a lot about Selenium explicitly, DevOps as a high level topic. RPA actually came up with as an interesting topic, robotic process automation, um, cybersecurity, and I think that relates to the malware piece. So that's interesting. Your competitors are touching on some of the ICPs, what they care about. Uh, shift left testing. This is, I guess, a unique thing with testing uh, methodology that a lot of your competitors are creating content on. And the one in the middle is are the common overlap that we saw. So browser testing, you guys are creating content on. Testing and AI, some of your competitors are creating content on that. Continuous testing was another one. That was, that was quite a bit of an overlap. Um, given what you see here, Francis, what, what, what are your first thoughts about the topics your competitors are creating content on that? Um, so the amount uh, of RPA cyber security is interesting. Mm. Um, I wouldn't have thought that. Everything else sounds pretty much spot on. Awesome. Um, and RPA, um, do you guys come across Companies that are doing you know, some kind of automation and robotic process automation in, in needing end-to-end -end testing? Do you Not really. We, we don't come across that, I don't think, at all. Um, hmm. That's very interesting. Um, maybe some of your customers, because a couple of them were actually doing <coughs> webinars about RPA and how to use end-to-end -end testing in there. So that's an interesting thing that, that we found out might be worthwhile investigating this further, both from an SEO perspective, Francis, I would say, and also from a content creation perspective, uh, how that lines up. Now, yeah, definitely something to look at. 